Well, hi everyone. <coughs> Happy uh, long Easter weekend. Today's the uh, March 29th. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a walk up uh, this trail here. And to, uh, like I've never been here before, so I'm going to, it's all being an adventurous. So, yeah, we're going to take a little walk up this trail. So, it's called the Three Towers Trail. And there's the tower, two of the towers right here, and then the other tower is right up behind me here. I don't know if you can see the top of that, but it's uh, it's a little bit smaller than the other one. So I guess uh, these are radio towers. I can I kind of hear some helicopters going in here? So yeah, I'll take you guys for a walk. But first, I want to get get a good view of this. And so we are right here. And what I'm going to try to do is walk up. Actually, I was thinking of walking down around in here. But uh, yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll walk down the trail and then come back up around. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. So this is also mainly uh, a mountain bike trail. And hopefully we don't uh, get any mountain bikers back here. Yeah, so the rock and roll trail, it's an easy trail, and it is uh, 100 meters, so that's maybe 3,000 paces. So, i also like to mention that we are up high on this hill, so... I think up here is as much of a lookout as you're going to get. You guys can see through the trees here, but I can see overlooking Lake Nepocene pretty far here. But we are heading downhill. Well, let's see, maybe... I'll keep it zoomed out like that. Yeah, so another thing about going for a walk is also about how quiet it is and peaceful it is. And how about the fact that, hey, nobody's around. You know, it is a statutory holiday today, so. I don't expect to see anybody out here. And it looks like this trail could be a little bit muddy at times, so hopefully I don't get my shoes wet or muddy. I also uh, see a couple snowflakes in the air also. Yeah, so you can see the three towers up up in there. That yeah, looks like a pretty good mountain bike path. And you can see how well the uh, trail is taken care of. Because somebody's actually made a stone pathway through here. I almost feel like I'm walking around in circles here, but you know, one thing up in here too, 
But there's a lot of people that own the land around this place. So you want to be careful you don't go get lost up here because you could end up in somebody's backyard. As you can see, up in the, I would almost consider this a mountain, so up in the mountains there's a fair bit more snow. And a little bit tricky to walk on. Again, trying to watch my step all the way. And not to slip on the rocks, but I can tell some animals walk through here. Probably a person with a dog or somebody. Yeah, so I feel like I'm following a dog or something. You can see all kinds of tracks all over through there. That will kind of kind of stick to the path with all the tracks on it. Just kind of little swampy area in there and actually I can see I'm walking right beside the road so I know I'm not lost I guess this trail just kind of follows the road. Again, so it is a bike trail, so it'd be lots of fun. And if I was a lot younger and having a bike, but the trail looks a little sketchy up here, actually. Again, you can see I'm right beside the road here. When I never thought that this trail laid it so close to the road. But yeah. Yeah, so I want to do a little shout out to a few people. And first of all, it would be Dave in Bangor, Maine. David Kingsbury, I uh, just want to say happy 60th birthday to you, buddy. I appreciate you watching all my channel, all my videos, and enjoying my channel. So yeah, happy birthday, Dave. And always another great person. That I'd like to do a shout out to is Henry, Toronto Tech and Transit. He's an awesome guy, and all his friends, Liam, Sapan, John Barrientos, and all his other friends are very nice people. I'm uh, happy I know these people, so we are watch them on Henry's channel. Yeah, so this is uh, lots of maples in here. I'm really surprised you don't see none of these trees are uh, tapped from tap for maple syrup. Yeah, nice little 
clear walking trail, especially at this time of year, late March. And then also I want to shout out to a few other people on all their awesome comments that they really appreciate all the uh, nature walks that I do. So, you know, starting off with you, Mark D. And, and Mary W. And even Maroof, Selena. And Stell, City Walks from Australia. I, I really appreciate all the comments that you guys leave for me, so that really means a lot to me. Another person that most always, always gives me a great compliment is a person named Christopher Haydock, the painter. Very talented. Yeah, so it looks like there's a split in the, the road here. So full Grundy Intermediate. So I think it does go down the hill a little bit. All right. We are uh, at the bottom of the trail. I think we started way up here. It doesn't show where we started. But uh, we're at the bottom of the trail, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to head the, which would be west, heading this way, back in here, and we'll see how that, where that takes us. So. And a little uh, stone-covered, icy place in here. I watch my step. And a little bit of water trickling through there, which is probably the smallest little mini stream I've ever seen. It'll probably be dried up in a few weeks. Yeah, so I'm surprised I haven't seen any animals up here, but usually when I see say that I can see something. All right, looks like there's another split in the trail here, which I kind of figured it out. But one keeps going west that way, and then this one actually heads south, and which like looks like it's all downhill. So again, if you had a, a good mountain bike. These hills would be no problem. And again, uh, yes, I am right on the edge of a hill here. And you can see the path goes over this way. And I am not going to go down this hill, so. I can see it, uh, I think it just loops around and comes back around. So, like it is uh, pretty geared for uh, mountain biking and all, with all the natural rock I see over there, which would be pretty cool to walk, or I mean mountain bike.
kind of hear the uh, wind picking up a little bit. And today I am wearing a mic. So. Yeah, I really got to watch my step on these ones. Falling would not be a good thing. And I always like to look ahead for anything in the bush. Oh, I did just see a chipmunk over there. Again, let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, so you can kind of see the lake in there. Yeah, so this trail is uh, probably about two miles. I still think it's in the uh, North Bay region, so, but it's two miles away from where I live and it's way up by the airport also. I know I'm not too far from the airport. I did hear some helicopters flying around when I got here. Yeah, so uh, another person I always like to do a shout out to is... Uh, Johnny Strides, got a check mark beside his name. That means over 100,000 subs, which is a really big accomplishment. So right on, Johnny. Looks like something was digging in there a little while ago. Yeah, another guy I'd like to shout out to is uh, a guy from... Uh, North Bay is the Ken Continuum, which he actually did a very, very good video yesterday on a Thursday night. He walked around with a, an actor and it was very, very cool to watch that. So yeah, another uh, good spot to look out here. Let's see if I can zoom her in. Yeah, so I'm easily probably five miles away from the lake. And you can see how this uh, trail's kind of worn down from the bikes going around it. And again, a little swampy in here, but because it's cold out, it went down to minus six last night, and now it's about minus one. So, well, it's not too bad out. It's uh, not t shirt weather, but spring is starting to show its face. There's a good hairpin corner right here. Just trying to stay on the bike path so I don't get lost.
Let's see, this is pretty up high on a hill here. And again, you can see the, uh, the lake in the background. But still no animals. Like I say, I can see a far ways away through the bush here. All right. See how quiet I can be. I thought I just heard a partridge. No, I hear a vehicle. It is pretty slippery rocks in here. Yeah, this would be uh, even still pretty rugged on a bike. And lots of uh, frozen ice here. And look at that. I don't know if you can hear that trickling stream, but it's beautiful, super fresh water going through here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing really uphill here to taint this water, so I'd almost drink it. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, starting to go uphill here. Oh, that little chipmunk over there I see. I think he's just too tiny for us to... See, I can see it, but you guys probably can't.
Right, I think we've come to another split in the trail. And again, I don't think I'll be taking this one because it says advanced and I am not that advanced. So maybe if I had an uh, e-powered mountain bike that would bring me up and down the hills, mostly up the hills, down would be no problem. But yeah, I'm not going to take that. We're going to just stick to the easy trail today. Nice big old tree there. Probably a good 60 footer there. Yeah, so this is a uh, conservation area too. So I did see a tree that was cut down, but I don't think you're allowed to do that up here. I hear something interesting to see. Oh, the uh, fungus growing off of there. Looks pretty cool. I like the way Mother did, Nature designed all that. trying to be as quiet as I can so what I'd like to see is a partridge or a deer up here but so far just a couple of chipmunks Now, see what I was saying earlier about how people don't like Yug on their property. So, this is where the park ends and somebody else's land begins. You can see a few trees cut down over there. So, yeah, like I say, uh, nowadays it's hard to find land that you can actually go for a walk on where. Where somebody's not going to get upset that you're trespassing on their land. But there are kind of, there are a few conservation parks in North Bay. And this is pretty good for uh, being a pretty good bike trail. Yeah, so. Somebody has a problem that they can't leave their alcohol at home. They had to come out in the bush and drink it. Here's another really big old tree here. Yeah, lots of crunchy snow in here. 
So now I could tell that I've actually walked around in a circle here. And so I'd like to say uh, thanks for watching my video. It's kind of a nice quiet trail walk. And another good uh, friend I'd like to do a shout out to is uh, Christine. Uh, we go places tours. Thank you for all the support. And you have an awesome channel too. So yeah, this is a, just a little bike trail back in here. You can probably see uh, you had a little RV car too. You could probably take it on this little trail here. Nice little cornering here. Yeah, there's a little bumpity bump here. I like to call them as Thrill Hills. Yeah, and that's about eight of them in a row, Thrill Hills. I get another nice corner here. And it goes around over there. And then comes back around. Yeah, so I want to thank everybody for watching my video of the uh, three towers, which is at the end of Tower Drive. Like I said, that's one of the towers. Yeah, so. Hopefully everybody's had a really good Easter weekend, spending it with the family, having good food and everything. So, thanks again for watching everybody. Ciao for now.